In this lesson, we're going to work on the home page uh, so we can add a nice banner and some text and some links on the front end. So to do that, we need to install uh, SP Page Builder. All right, so once you've installed Page Builder, and by the way, the process is the same for ex installing extensions or uh, modules or plugins. So you go to Page Builder, and you want to click on Add New Page. And once you've installed the Page Builder, you click, you go to Pages, and you shouldn't have any pages here. So you can go over to Categories. One of the features that they've added on, on this is it allows you to create, you know, different categories. So if you want to organize your pages, this is a great way to do so. And you want to click on New. And then you want to put in the title. You're just going to put in Home. And by the way, you know, I'm not going to go into a lot of details about all the features and functionalities that SP Page Builder, you know, has or the Pro has. Um, because they have another course that goes through every details about, you know, about everything. So what we want to do here now is we want to use what's called an add-on. So the first thing that we're going to click on, we want to click on this add-on. And then you just want to select the text block. And I'm just going to copy, you know, this text here. Or since you have something here, just delete that. And then just put in the title and then let's click on save. And then next you want to click on add on again. And once you get the add on, you want to click on the button group. We're going to add two buttons there so they can select one either. So when you click on this here, you notice that you have this, you know, already here. It's called button. So I'm just going to grab the text from this one, see our latest movies. So let me type this. You just click on it and you can see it gives you a drop down. And then it gives the option to put a link. Since we don't have any links here, you can just, you know, put that hashtag sign. And then you can choose the color for this as well and the size of it. So I'm going to choose in primary. You can choose an icon. We're going to choose the video. Okay, and then you click, come back, and you want to click, click it again, and it's going to minimize it. So I'm just going to click on this copy. And this is going to copy the, the, uh, what you did before. But I'm just going to change the title. What do I have here? Uh, sign up today to the only seven. No, it's not. Right. So you put in sign up today for only seven a month. Same thing. And just click on. You can choose the button here, too. You're going to choose in or whatever you want to choose. You can you know make that choice and click on save. And then we're going to add another add-on. And this add-on, this is going to be an empty space. <clears throat> so the empty space is going to give space between two items. So that way everything doesn't look so cluttered up. And let's click on. You can change this, the, amount, the amount of space gap you want here. I'm just going to leave it at 20. But if you realize that you need more than uh, 20 pixels, then you can always add more. So just click on Save. And then what I'm going to do is just drag this in between because we're trying to put space between the, the text block and the button group. Okay, now we want to go over to where it says the row settings. Click on row settings. And then I'm just going to grab this title and put it there. And then I want to put this as an H1 tag. So scroll down here. This is where you get to select the image that goes in the background. So I'm going to click select. And then I want to click on Upload. So I have an image. This is the image that I want to use. I'm gonna once you upload, you click on it again, and you click Insert. So that's the image that's gonna show in the background. And then we want to um, we want to make sure we put this 150 pixels zero. And then let's click on Apply. Okay, so let's click on, we're going to save this, and once you've saved it, you want to preview it, and let's click on the view page. This is going to show you a preview of what it looks like. So there you have it now. You know, it's showing you the Rio 2 and the nice background, and they can be able to choose, you know, uh, something like this. Okay, so we want to make some, you know, some changes to this here. I want to change it so that, and if you notice, it's a fixed background. So when you scroll up, the image is still in the same place. 
So what I want to do is let's change the title, the color for this to white, and let's change this to white. It's a little dark, you can't really see anything. So you want to go back to text block and click on the edit. So we're going to change the, the title color to white. Just drag that and then click on save. And then let's click on the row setting and scroll down where it says title color. Just want to drag this all the way there. And then you want to click on apply. Okay, let's save it. And once you save it, let's preview it again. So now you notice the words are white. And if you want to change, you know, of course you want to change this sign up here. <clears throat> you can also change the sign up with different icons. So let's go back to those button group there. And we are going to, you can choose the alignment until you want it to be center, you want it to be left, or do you want it to be right? So I'm just going to leave it at the right, I mean at the center. So let's go back here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to edit that button. So instead of it having uh, that color, it's going to have a different color. And I'm also going to change the icon for that. Put in a dollar and click save. Once that's saved, let's refresh it, see what changes have been made. So you have this here, you know, it's a little too much, but you can always change whatever color that you want there. <clears throat> so if someone scrolls down, you know, that's right there. So that's how you, you know, you fix that part there. <clears throat> and then if you wanted to add something else to it, so we're, next what we're going to do now is you want to click on this add new row. And we're going to add just three different items at the very bottom, you know, at the bottom of that picture uh, with, you know, some content on there. So what we're going to do now is let's click on the add-on. We're going to add three feature boxes at the bottom. So you click on feature box. And there's a bunch of stuff here that you can add on it, but I'm just going to put in the title for this one. Save money today. And then ask you for an icon. You can choose whatever icons you want. I'm just gonna pick. I'm just gonna pick different things. But you can go through the icon list and select a variety. You can choose the icon size. You can choose the color, the background color, the border. So right now, these just a, a default stuff that's here, and I'm just going to edit this. So I'm gonna delete from there. You want to keep it centered. Save. Okay, so that's one icon there. And then what I'm what I want to do now too is I want to set this so that it's three columns instead of just one column. So when you put your mouse over where it says add column, you get this. You just want to select the three, and it's going to automatically adjust these for you. So you want to click on this here. It's going to copy it. You drag it over. Do the same thing again. And then you drag it over. Okay, so now let's click on save and take a look and see what that looks like on the front end. So with the added feature box at the bottom, this is what they look like. And you can always come back to customize and change, you know, whatever words that you want this a feature box. Save money today. And put it on that one. And then come here. Save, watch from any, anywhere. That's movies online. So I've made changes to these three boxes, the, the content for it. And then let's take a look and see what those changes look like. All right, so I just, I, I didn't spell today right. So I just got to change that from save money. And then best movies online and, you know. So <clears throat> this is to give an idea of how it looks and you can customize and change and tweak more. So in the future lesson, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna come back later and we're gonna finalize the homepage. But this is a good start now. All right, let's move on to the next lesson.